Hello guys, King Kaiju here. Sorry for the probably obstructed audio, but today I'm back at this set where I'm going to show you a project that I'm going to start working on. This video is going to be a large collage of different stages I'm at with customizing this particular figure. I kind of want to show it to you now. This is the Dino Rivals Amargosaurus, and as you can see, it's taken a little bit of damage to the neck, and if I turn it around, you can see especially the neck right here has taken some, and this is just the first stage it is at with me customizing it. Now, I'm not just doing this randomly. I actually really liked this figure beforehand. However, something recently happened to me that has made me really not need a purpose for it. And it's not just these scratches, it is that. The plastic inside the figure has broke and now the leg will pop in and out and really it doesn't stay in there at all. So I've decided to turn this Amargosaurus into a corpse. Uh, I may or may not be sadistic, but anyway, this is going to be turned into an Amargosaurus, just like dead body, essentially. These are going to be like claw marks. I'm going to add blood and stuff. This entire like section right here is going to be gone and replaced with like chunks of flesh. These are not the exact chunks of flesh. These are like actual prop pieces just for like blood, uh, bones human legs and torsos and stuff like that. Uh, but it's going to essentially be filled up with paper, which I'm then gonna paint red, and that'll essentially be the innards of the Amargosaurus. I'm gonna add some detail to this, add some blood to the scars on it, uh, as well as on the neck and the other side. I'm gonna try and take a chunk out of this large neck piece right here, so where it looks like it's kind of been bitten off, as well as you can see, there's also a large scar on the face. So this is the first day. Uh, I'm gonna stop for now because I really don't think there's much else I can really do to it as for right now. However, thank you all. And hopefully I'm going to be at a next stage whenever the next video is up. So see you guys then. Okay, so I'm back now. Uh, this is now Wednesday. I last recorded the footage on Sunday. So yeah, it's been a couple of days. But anyway, this is the new progress on the Amargosaurus. When I first got home, I decided to spray some red paint around the neck. And as you can see, that's what it kind of looks like now. About 30 minutes ago, I added some other colors of red to this section right here, like the scratches. You can see it really good right here, right here, if I turn it around. You can see it all along the neck right here, really, because there is some scratches up there, as well as some right here. Also, this entire section is going to be coming off very, very soon. But yeah, that is the progress on this. You might also notice it's missing a leg. That is because this is what the leg looks like now. This is it needs to dry, but this is what it kind of looks like now. As you can see, this whole section pretty much just looks like a bone and some flesh that's been torn out really badly. I might add some paper around this to kind of fill up the gaps, but uh, yeah, this is what the leg looks like now. And after about another 10 minutes, I'm gonna go take this guy outside and I'm going to go take this section right here completely off with a hammer and a screwdriver. That is all I'm going to be equipped with. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I might even take off more than I really want to, but hey, I actually might like that to happen because I can make it look more decomposed and stuff like that. So yeah, that is the progress on the Amargosaurus. I will cut to you guys out in the garage when this guy is ready to be destroyed. Unfortunately, I didn't record the destruction, but here's the aftermath. There was quite a few pieces that went flying, and the neck was one of the few first ones to come off. Also, like I predicted would happen, uh, most of the body that I didn't want to come off did, and now it's just kind of split in two. This is the remnants of that stuff, this is what it looks like now, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with all of it. I might use some of the pieces to just be like individual torn off chunks of flesh, I might use some of it to create the overhang that I originally wanted to make, but uh, yeah, this is like the main big piece that came off, some of the button is still on as you can see. I also indirectly made some sort of battle damage with the spine. This little piece here, I just wanted to come out sometime, and uh, I managed to do it, but I found out that you could put it back in if you wanted to. And yeah, that's pretty much where I am right now. I've painted up some of the areas like this cut inside the spine, and whenever I get everything sorted out, I'm going to get a hot glue gun, put some paper inside the areas that I want to, 
put some along this neck piece probably probably put some inside the bigger areas like this piece of plastic right here and probably inside the entire body as well. I'm probably gonna try and glue this piece on somehow to kind of create that effect that I was going for. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but some way, shape, or form, I'm going to get a piece over the main body. Oh yes, and here's the leg piece. Nothing's really changed on it. I just wanted to show you guys what it's looking like now. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have customized for now. I'll come back to you guys when I actually have some more, so see you until then. Okay, so this is being hand recorded, no tripod this time. However, uh, this is the current progress on the Amargosaurus corpse. I want to handle this very carefully because it is very, very sticky. Uh, as you can kind of see along the tail, the lighting's kind of crap, but uh, this is what I've been using to kind of get a more blood effect. I'm probably going to use this in the future for just like photographs, but this right here uh, is the current progress. None of this is glued in, but I think it will stay pretty firmly. Uh, this is just like a bunch of napkin paper foiled up and like pushed in here and painted. But I also used this stuff. Now, this is not blood. I know it looks like blood, but it is actually just Kool-Aid liquid. So it's not only uh, great for like effects, it's also edible. So yeah, but the only bad thing is it is incredibly sticky. So I'm gonna have to wash my hands pretty thoroughly and let this dry. Uh, on the like other parts, nothing really has changed significantly. You can kind of see that there's like some markings of my other works left on some of the remnants. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get that overhang still on this side. I'm gonna try and put, I don't know, like this big piece right here kind of over it to where it kind of looks like that and just like fill in the rest with paper back here. I also have like a couple bone effects that I can do. Just like put some ribs in there and some stuff uh, as well as just like add some paper to the base of the neck as well as on like the legs and the other parts as well as I made like one chunk of flesh so far. So that's pretty cool. That's the progress on the Amargosaurus so far and I'll cut back to you guys when anything new happens. So a few days later now and uh, this is the new product i'm still needing to work on quite a lot of these pieces but this is the overall look of everything now this is the main body piece and as you can see i added a rib which i kind of painted red as well as adding more like paper flesh and guts to it which i'm going to glue down i haven't glued them down yet as of when i recorded this but uh i will glue them down to make it look kind of better i guess i decided to throw out the other body pieces and just keep one as you can see i've added things to it i've now basically covered the entire thing up and i think it looks significantly better now i also added some more flesh onto the leg piece i'm probably going to add some more onto it to kind of like finesse the look as well as kind of get rid of that ball at the end it kind of looks unnatural so i thought i'd probably add some more onto it so when i start gluing stuff yes none of this is glued on uh, I'll add some more to that. As you can see, I tried adding some flesh onto the neck, but I think I'm just gonna have to glue that. Nothing's really changed with, with the neck at all. I kind of painted more onto it, but it's really not that noticeable. And yeah, that's pretty much all the changes for now. I think the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys is it completely done, so I'll cut to you guys when it's done. Finally, we now have the finished product. As you can see, there was a couple highlights and touch-ups. I added some fleshy bits to some areas, especially the neck here. I was really proud of that. I think it turned out really, really good. I really did not change much with the main body. I kind of just glued some stuff down. I kind of tore a few bits off that I thought were unnecessary, and this is what it looks like now. I think it looks a lot better. Uh, there's some areas like this thing that aren't really that good. I'm probably going to tear those off later. The leg, I originally just had completely surrounded in, like, flesh, but I narrowed it down to quite a lot and now it just looks like that and then there was this piece right here which i just glued some stuff down onto originally it was going to overhang like that but i just changed it to one piece then of course there's this piece on the neck which really nothing has changed with i still really like this battle damage effect though i think it looks really cool and that's it really i really didn't change much else other than those few things and this is the final product with that being said to finish this off i'm going to show a few pictures i took of the Dedemargosaurus and the indoraptor so enjoy
And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very spooky and spectacular video. If you couldn't tell, it was meant to be a Halloween special, and I hope you guys did really enjoy it. I enjoyed making it. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.